Number 10. Bristol at Beaver Lodge Lake Dietmar Eckel is a German photographer who left his marketing job in 2014 to track down what he calls miracles in aviation history, abandoned planes that were forced down with no deaths. His search through old newspapers and other records led him all over the world, including to the remote Canadian wilderness, where he photographed a Bristol Type 170 freighter cargo plane that crashed in 1956. The aircraft had touched down on the frozen water at Beaver Lodge Lake in Saskatchewan when some of the landing gear broke through the ice, causing the left wing to hit the ground and bend. All three crew members were rescued and the plane was left sitting on the lakeside after they decided it was too damaged to repair. After learning about the plane, Eckel persuaded a retired pilot to fly him over the site. The pilot spent his 30-year career flying in the region and had never heard about the abandoned Bristol, leaving him skeptical that it would actually be there. But it was, and it appeared to be in remarkable condition for having sat neglected for nearly 60 years. Number 9. SS St. Christopher Originally named the HMS Justice, the SS St. Christopher was a 165-foot-long rescue tug that was built for the U.S. Navy in 1943 during World War II. But the Americans never used the wooden vessel. Instead, the British Royal Navy borrowed it under the Lend-Lease Act, which provides U.S. allies with food, oil, and military equipment. The St. Christopher was used during the Allied invasion of Normandy, better known as D-Day, on June 6, 1944. It was returned to the U.S. Navy after the war ended and was then sold to a private buyer. During the 1950s, the boat ran aground and encountered engine and rudder problems. It was grounded at Beagle Channel in Ushuaia at the southern tip of Argentina. Nicknamed the end of the world, it's famous as the world's southernmost city. Today, the St. Christopher lies partially submerged in precisely the exact spot where it was abandoned almost 65 years ago. It has since become a tourist attraction and is lit up at night, but nobody's allowed to board the heavily damaged vessel, which looks as if it might finish sinking into the ocean at any moment. Number 8. Curtis C-46 Commando World War II had just entered its final year in 1945 when a C-45 transport plane vanished in the Himalayan mountains with 13 passengers aboard. It was en route from Kunming in southern China when it disappeared in a storm over the state of Arunachal Pradesh in northeastern India. The plane was never seen or heard from again until recently after one of the passengers surviving sons reached out to American explorer Clayton Cools and asked him to search for it. Working with a team of indigenous guides from the local Lisu ethnic group, Cools embarked on a months-long expedition to find the downed aircraft. It was no easy feat. The group crossed chest-deep rivers, climbed up to high altitudes, and camped in freezing weather. Even the experienced guides were uneasy about the trek, according to Cools, who told Al Jazeera that three Lisu hunters had died of hypothermia in the same area in 2018. So it was probably a tremendous relief when the group finally found the aircraft on a mountaintop and identified it based on its tail. But unfortunately, there were no human remains at the wreck site, which represents just one of the hundreds of military planes that went missing in India, China, and Myanmar during World War II. Most are believed to have crashed because of severe weather conditions like ice damage and hurricane force wind, according to Cools, who said that only some aircraft losses were at the hands of the Japanese. Number 7. Bell Amica Members of the Italian Coast Guard were perplexed in August 2006 when they spotted a schooner called the Bel Amica drifting aimlessly off the Sardinian coast in the Mediterranean Sea. The vessel was found near Punta Volpe and appeared to be abandoned. Its discoverers boarded it and steered it away from some rocks and shallow waters that it was headed toward. Inside the Bel Amica, they found French maps of North African bodies of water, partially eaten Egyptian meals, a pile of clothing, and the Luxembourg flag. Investigators soon discovered that the boat was never registered in any country, including Italy. They also realized that the Bel Amica was not the antique vessel they had first suspected. Instead, it was a modern boat owned by a man from Luxembourg named Franck Ruyaru. He had anchored it in deep waters and deserted it, later claiming that he'd left to deal with a family emergency and planned to return to the yacht as soon as he'd taken care of things back home. But the story didn't quite add up for detectives or the Italian press suggesting that Ruyaru abandoned the Bel Amica to avoid paying taxes. Unfortunately, nobody seems to know the actual story to this day, and if they do, they're staying quiet about it. Number 6. Lockheed P-38 Lightning On July 8, 1944, a P-38 fighter aircraft crashed in the forest near Waldeg, Austria, while being flown by 2nd Lieutenant Henry Donald Mitchell. The 23-year-old American pilot and his plane were never seen again, leaving his brother Bob Mitchell wondering his entire life about precisely what happened that day. The crash site was discovered in 2017 on privately owned land. 
Unfortunately, authorities ran into complications with the landowner getting permission to excavate, putting the investigation on hold. American and Austrian diplomats worked together to resolve the issues. Still, it wasn't until the property owner passed away that they gained access to the site through the man's son, who was more open-minded to the idea. Last year, the U.S. Department of POW MIA Accounting Agency finally got a chance to investigate the site. They confirmed the plane's identity and found human remains, which they believed belonged to Donald Mitchell. The agency sent Bob an email to inform him of the discovery while they waited for the bones to be identified. A forensic anthropologist confirmed the remains belonged to Donald Mitchell, ending Bob's decades-long search, which began in 1997. He didn't believe that Donald went down with the plane for a long time, especially since his fellow soldiers didn't see the crash. It left Bob wondering if Donald had somehow survived and had perhaps been taken as a prisoner of war. Now that his brother's remains have been found, he no longer has to wonder and has received long-awaited closure. How long would you search if a member of your family vanished? Let us know in the comments and remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Number 5. Dimitrios There's a rusting cargo ship sitting along a remote shoreline a few miles from the Greek town of Githio. Known as the Dimitrios, the 220-foot-long vessel was built in Denmark in 1950. There are conflicting stories about how it ended up abandoned on the beach at Valtaki. According to one rumor, the ship was used for smuggling cigarettes between Turkey and Italy. Authorities seized it at Githio and supposedly released it from the port on purpose, treating it as if it wasn't their problem. But then someone set it on fire to hide evidence of its involvement in illicit trade. A more vague story describes the Dimitrios as a ghost ship of unknown origin. A book written by the former honorary chief of the Hellenic Coast Guard, Vice Admiral Christos Intunis, claims the ship made an emergency docking in 1980 because the captain had a severe illness that he needed treatment for. Several things went wrong after that. The ship started having engine problems and the crew ran into financial and insurance issues. Then they were all fired. Over the next several months, the Dimitrios continued to deteriorate. Water got into the hull, causing it to list. The ship was declared dangerous and port authorities asked the owners to move it. They didn't respond for months and lousy weather stranded the vessel at its current site. There were no attempts to salvage it. Number 4. Folsom Lake Wreck Nestled in the Sierra Nevada foothills outside Sacramento, Folsom Lake is a man-made reservoir that was created in 1955 to control the waters of the American River. There are no homes around the lake or in the surrounding wilderness, which are designated recreation areas managed by California's Parks and Recreation Department. On New Year's Day in 1965, a small plane crashed into Folsom Lake, killing all four people aboard. Last year, ABC News told the heartbreaking story of a man who lost his brother, 15-year-old Glenn Amick, in the accident. Glenn was out sightseeing in the plane when his life was unexpectedly cut short. His brother, Frank Wilcox, was only three years old at the time, but he spent much of his life longing for closure and searching for clues about Glenn's fate. Unfortunately, Wilcox passed away without ever finding the answers he was looking for. Last year, a pair of researchers named Jeff Riley and Tyler Atkinson found what they believe may be the wrecked plane while testing new underwater sonar technology in Folsom Lake. The equipment detected something artificial in the deepest part of the lake, but the water was too murky to tell what it was. Riley and Atkinson returned to the site with a remotely operated vehicle and sent it 160 feet to the lake bed to investigate. Unfortunately, the water was still too cloudy to see much. On their third visit, the two men attached a sonar device to the ROV and finally got images of what they were trying to see. It was a fully intact, silt-covered plane. Several of its parts were visible, but the explorers couldn't see inside the cockpit or make out its identification number. They credited the lake's shallow water levels with helping them discover the long-missing aircraft. Speaking with local station KGO-TV, Riley said that he found it rewarding to know that he may be able to give a family some long-awaited closure. Number 3. Edward Bolin There's a 500-mile stretch of remote coastline in northern Namibia known for having some of the harshest and most unforgiving conditions on the planet. As a result, death is ever-present. It's littered with animal remains and dozens of decaying shipwrecks that lost their battles against the elements, which is why it's called the Skeleton Coast. Over the last several hundred years, over 500 ships have wrecked in thick fog, rough seas, unpredictable currents, and heavy winds. Sailors who survived and reached land often died of thirst in the scorching desert heat. One of the most famous shipwrecks along the Skeleton Coast is the Edward Bolin a 310-foot-long cargo ship that became trapped in fog and ran aground in 1909. The desert encroached upon the shoreline over the following years, leaving the ship partially buried in the sand. 
Today, it sits over a thousand feet away from the water near two other wrecks, the Otavi and the MV Dunedin Star. The MV Dunedin Star was a cargo ship that ran aground in 1942, and the Otavi foundered and sank in 1945. Some of the vessels along the Skeleton Coast are much older, dating as far back as the 16th century. The scattered wrecks are a sobering reminder of how disaster and death define the region. Number 2. PZL TS-11 Iskra The small village of Volka Nosowska in eastern Poland is home to just 400 residents. It drew the attention of thousands of internet users in 2019 when an overhead image of an abandoned plane surrounded by trees began circulating online. The photo first appeared on an Instagram page belonging to a photographer from North Wales named Ton Dolman. Journalist Christoph Basil tracked Dolman down to ask him about what drew him to a tiny village in the middle of nowhere to take snapshots of an aircraft hidden in a grove of trees. Basil was skeptical of the picture's authenticity, believing that perhaps Dolman had photographed the grove and slammed the airplane into it. Dolman confirmed the photo was in fact genuine. He provided the map coordinates of its location to Basil to prove it. A closer look revealed that the jet is situated next to a house, leading the writer to speculate that perhaps it belongs to the homeowners. The jet is a Polish jet trainer called the PZL TS-11 Iskra. Designed during the early 1960s, it was the first domestically developed Polish jet aircraft. Exactly 424 were built between 1963 and 1987. The PZL TS-11 Iskra was used by the Polish and Indian Air Forces, serving as the principal training aircraft for the Polish Air Force for over 50 years. Dolman told Basil that he first spotted the plane while traveling the Polish countryside with a group of friends. He noticed its wings sticking out of the grove and made plans to return to the site when the weather was more favorable. After taking several aerial snapshots, the photographer returned to Britain and perfected his favorite shot before posting it on his Instagram. Although Dolman never expected the photo to go viral, he was worried that his friends might even think it was boring. But the intriguing image quickly racked up thousands of likes among friends and strangers alike. Number 1. Vickers Plane The first aircraft to visit Antarctica was a single-propeller Vickers plane that Australian explorer Douglas Mawson used in his expedition of the continent during the early 20th century. He abandoned the aircraft on an ice shore at Cape Denison in 1911 after its engine seized up during a demonstration flight. Until relatively recently, the last time anyone spotted the aircraft was back in 1975 during an unusually low tide. Then, a team of Australian explorers rediscovered it on New Year's Day in 2010 after a painstaking three-year search. While walking along the shore of Commonwealth Bay, team member Mark Farrell noticed metal along the rocks in just a few inches of water. It was the plane's fuselage. The team had an ultra-low tide, courtesy of a blue moon, as well as melting ice to thank for the aircraft's unexpected appearance. Team leader David Jensen said that the conditions gave them the one-in-a-million chance that they needed to spot the plane. Thanks for watching. Which one of these abandoned vehicles would you most like to own? Let us know in the comments and be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to catch more amazing videos like this one right here on American Eye.